Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and I'm going to be doing a tutorial for you today on Canva. I'm doing this especially for the writers who are doing their own marketing and who have a very big cost associated with all of the design and marketing elements that go along with it. Jade Wilde has offered to let me use her book as a reference for this. So we're going to be doing some artwork for her book, um, which is called Vat of Acid. Okay, so I'm using the desktop app for Canva, but you can use the online version, the web-based version. It's probably a good idea to get a pro account. If you are going to be putting money into anything, I put money into a pro account and you'll see why when you see some of the images that I can access on Canva. So we're going to create a design and we're going to do an Instagram post that's square. It makes everything automatically sized for what you need. I've uploaded the artwork already. This is Jade's book cover. So we're going to use this as a reference to do a really striking Instagram post. So if you look at the themes, the colors, um, really nice spooky forest and your reds and teals. So if you go to elements and you search, I'm going to search for spooky forest. This looks like a good start and it's got similar colors. So you just position it and drag it to be the right size. If things are layered on top of each other, you right click on it and you go to layer, send this to the back. To double click on it, that allows you to move it around and crop it so that it's the right size and positioning that you need. Now, when you're doing something like a book cover or you are revealing something about a book or doing a quote, you want the background to be quite understated and subtle. So this is a good start, but what I would then recommend is creating a, an overlay. So you go back to your elements, you select a shape and drag it to be the correct size. You select the object, you go to the little color block at the top, and then you are able to do the color picker, which you can pick from anywhere on your canvas. So you click on the little plus and this eyedropper tool, and then you can pick anything on the whole canvas. And I'll do a slightly darker color there. Then what we wanna do, obviously, because we wanna see the picture in the background, is we change the transparency of this front portion. And when it's on there, you can go and change the color and transparency so that it looks like what it needs to. Okay, the next part of this that I'm going to do is to do kind of a hero shot of the book itself. One of the cool things that Canva does is it allows you to create mockups. Um, and I'll show you what that means now. So if you go to apps and you search mockups, You'll see what I mean here. So I'm going to be looking for a book mockup. Go to print, select all. And I'm looking just for a simple standalone book. So you click that. Drag the corners to resize it. And then what you do is you go to your uploads where you've uploaded the book cover and you drag it over there and there you have your book cover it does look slightly lighter um, but when I was playing around with this earlier I realized that the book cover itself looks a bit lighter and if when you do it on the Kindle mockup then that looks a bit darker so we're going to go and get the Kindle one now if you scroll down to tablets and TV just a plain little Kindle or tablet once again, resize it. And drag your 
image into it. Right, so now we've already got quite a nice little mock-up of our books and what they usually call a hero image of the cover um, mocked up onto a Kindle and an actual physical book. So now what you want to do is you want to pull elements from the book that are going to give a little bit of an idea of what is actually going on in the book. So I'm just going to take the front little piece of text from the cover itself. Go to text to add a heading and type it in. So this actually works quite well um, as a font for what we're trying to do. So I'm going to keep it as Gotham Black. This is what you change the color with. I'm going to make it white and I'm going to make it make the font size quite a bit bigger so that it is a little bit more prominent. So things you want to look at while you are doing this is symmetry and composition. So you want to try and make sure things are centered and things are consistent, such as the fonts, the colors, and uh, the backgrounds and that sort of thing. Okay, so we've got the little blurb, and now we want to do um, the author name and the title of the book. I'm gonna do this in a different font, so I'll just type it out first, and then I'll show you what we do for the font and contrasting fonts. So what I would recommend is if you have what's called a sans serif font, so it doesn't have these little um, beveled serif edges. If you use that for the main part of the text, I would use a serif font like Times New Roman or there's a whole bunch of them that you can search through and play around with. I would use that for the other font. Make it quite a lot smaller. And you can see that nice contrast. Okay, so then what you do, you go and share and download and the PNG is perfect. So you download it and save it to a folder where you'll remember So create an artwork folder for your book. Once you've got it there, you can transfer it to your phone or tablet or wherever you are doing your social media from, and then you can upload it from there. I hope you found this helpful. I will be doing a few more of these and show you how to do all different kinds of elements for your artwork on Canva.